Commissioner. Number one, I guess I would just caution commissioners to be careful with the information we have in front of us because there are electronic devices running in the room. And being somewhat familiar with the capacities of uh, digital zooms, etc., there could be a breach of confidentiality if materials are laid around or held up in one respect or another because there are cameras running here, there are cell phones running, there are lots of little trickeries going on that need to be uh, kept in mind, so do bear that out. Uh, you know, I, with respect to the issue of uh, moving forward, I think we need to act expeditiously. Uh, I concur with or echo the sentiments of Commissioner Crone in that having been through the hiring of uh, the last four out of five administrators, it has varied from time to time. Uh, we have to allow for some transition time, I think, a smooth transition to be able to move forward and uh, not lose a beat issues we have going on, whether it be legislative, budgetary, management, or personnel. And so I would I would say we need to uh, follow follow this process with this track we're on to get some of the in place as soon as possible. I said that at our meeting a week ago because the the timing of uh, our current administrator leaving and the amount of time he has remaining, but the amount of time he's actually going to be here is really quite short being the last week in, in January and some small amount of time in February. So, uh, it, it's, you know, it's no secret that there's an opening in St. Louis County. I think it would be fair to say people in five-state area are aware of the opening in St. Louis County. And those who are uh, attentive to these issues and seek these kinds of positions through the professional associations and acquaintances and colleagues they do become aware of these things, so I don't think it's any secret that there's an interim opportunity in St. Louis County. I'm going to take a minute here now and listen to everybody twice, except for Commissioner Rocker, and I'm going to say something as well. Um, I'm a process guy. There isn't anybody on this board that doesn't know that that's not true. Um, that the process, that if the process works well, then the ability to be able to move forward without um, considering whether or not we've done the right thing is very, is very easy to justify. What happens when you do not have a, at least a reasonable process or elongated process where you at least ask the question, is this all that might be interested? Uh, really does open the open the door in my mind to questions of, well, did you already have somebody pre-selected? I don't think that that was that is the case at all in this particular in this particular thing. But I do think that the the very second that somebody made public the fact that there was an external candidate. And unfortunately, Commissioner Forsman turns out to be the guy because the last board meeting he made that comment that there might be a um, um, I'm going to wait here for a second until we get this all taken care. Yeah, yeah, that's okay. Take your time. Those are tough things. Um, you want to be on this list anymore before I finish? Mm -hmm. you, want to, you want me to bring you to date where we are? We are in the process right now of determining whether or not a process we should select from the names that have been dumped in the hat over the last couple of days, of a stack of which you have, there are four of them, or whether we should have a little bit more elongated process and, and see if there are other names out there as well now that there are a couple. Of I am, everybody's made several arguments on this except me. I'm going to make an argument at this particular point. If you'd like to be on the list, I'll put you on right after I. Okay? Thank you. At any rate, the point is that in the subcommittee we were discussing this, this concept about can you do this quick. The end of the game is the same. We will, at a board meeting on the, at least, at a, at a, at a minimum, on the 5th of, of February, we will have to have may have a resolution on that board selecting someone. We will have to do that. 
or there will be a vacancy on the 11th until the 12th meeting. That's all there is to it. The question is, what do you do between then or now and then, and how complicated does that have to be? In my mind, it doesn't have to be complicated at all. It doesn't even have to be elongated. It just has to have a component that says communicate globally, and globally means within earshot of St. Louis County using the current mediums that are available to us. Give a moment of time, and then evaluate and select. So in my mind, that makes, that makes a great deal more sense than suggesting that, and as Commissioner Rocker put it, that everybody already knows. Well, I gotta tell you, I don't know that. I'm gonna call a Paul, call a Joe Sushman on you that says, we just don't know that information. And because we don't know that information, we don't know who's interested in the pot. Now, when we get to selecting the candidates, somebody's going to say, well, you know what? We need somebody who is intimately familiar with St. Louis County. And I would agree with that. But I know that last year, we had 109 or 114, no, 2006, 109 or 114 people, some of which were managers in St. Louis County, that retired. And I know there are 200 and some this year, 2007. Now, certainly probably aren't going to have a, 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 a clerk, but there are people who would be qualified who may not be paying attention at this particular moment. So the big question comes up is, do you have everybody in the pool that you want in the pool, or that you could possibly be in the pool, or do you, don't you care about that? And I think if you, if you go to the short selection process, we've got names, select. There must be somebody good in there. And by goodness, I saw them all, and they're all, it looks like at least they appear to be good. You just don't know what isn't there. That's the problem. And so from my perspective, I think a longer process, which gets you to the same end, you're going to have somebody here on the, on the February 11th, and that's what I want as well. That's, that's my argument for the long process, for a longer process. I got you, Commissioner Forsman, you're up to Commissioner Sweeney. Okay. Um, first, I don't know if any of the people in the audience oh, have been on. Oh, I can't use the names. Oh, I won't. I think I told her. Uh, but I don't know if any of the people in the audience have been given, but I know Sam Cannon had his hand up and I walked in the Unfortunately, I got to tell you, but I'm running the committee and you all won't get a chance to talk. You won't get a chance to listen.
this is not a very transparent and open process if that's the way we're going to do this.